I must have said some things that hurt some people's feelings in the first time I tried to do this video because I complained a lot about Google and how Google is doing the same thing that uh, CBS is doing in the SOPA uh, incident. You know, how they want to try to steal away everything we do. And uh, I tried to point out in the last video, which I want to make this one extremely super short because the last one was 15 minutes long. And the man's video that I'm commenting on, his video was only seven minutes. So in your video, you point out a million different things. And I appreciate the things that you do point out. It's like a lot of these download programs, you got to get them from somewhere. Who writes this stuff? And, um, you know, you find out that uh, CBS and CNET are one company. And that's pretty sad that, you know, all the free downloads you get from CNET itself, you know, could be considered a you know copyright infringement or what have you but my gripe is with google google is doing the same thing that uh, cbs is they offer people partnerships and they have google tv and they got all this google stuff and youtube is connected to google google owns youtube in order to be a partner on youtube you've got to have a adsense account which is also a google entity and you have to have Google Checkout, which is also a Google entity. The thing is, each one of these Google accounts has to have a separate Google account. Makes sense. No. They keep you in this weird circle, and by the time you figure it out, you violated the rules, and you don't get paid for your videos. But you, as an artist or, you know, a homemaker or somebody who wants to, to, to show off their wares or whatever, you, as a regular individual, you are accused of violating your rules. You are violating your rules. You clicked on your own videos by watching your own videos. If you do a video, you can't watch your own video. If you watch your own video, it's considered clicking on your own video. If you look at your video, you're breaking the rules. You can't watch your own video. Or else you violated the rules and you don't get paid but it's kind of weird how Google can stop me from being paid but allow other people to take my videos and put commercials on the side going up and down the sides of the video when I put my own videos on my own website I was accused of click violations my website was kicked out of the program and I cannot get paid but I can still see my videos pop up all over the world on different websites in my name with Google ads on the side. Where's the logic in that? Where's the copyright infringement on my own material? I did a video where I ad-libbed out of my mind and I'm like, you know, I'm making up this stuff out of my head, but then I got a violation. Someone said I stole their material. Is it that bad now? that everyone thinks the same, there's no originality? Have we truly been reprogrammed? So if I whistle a tune out of my head, someone has just busted me for copyright infringement. I did uh, an example in the video earlier about how you know people get on YouTube and do these videos and everything with, with some people have hopes to get paid or be recognized you know for their art or their music and oh my god this guy's funny or this lady's beautiful or this girl can sing and they want to get recognized say you're a regular homemaker and you're at home and you grab your video camera and you talk about the stencil job on this glass now, there's a line in the cage on this glass barely see it but there's a lion in this cage by me lifting up this glass I have violated copyright infringement this artwork is copywritten by somebody that person sees this glass and says I stole their video but I wouldn't use me I was using like someone else but some woman decides you know to talk about the stenciling she put on the glass She's just become a partner and she wants to talk about the stencil. So she, she mentions it, she talks about it. But Donald Trump owns the image of the tiger. She violated copyright infringement. Say the circus owns the image of the cage that the tiger is in. Ringling Brothers can sue her for copyright infringement. 
Where is the logic in this? This woman just wants to tell about the stencil on her glass. Put a commercial on the side of it because they like her. People like her. They like what she talks about. But she's in violation once she picks up something that she did not make, that she did not own. She don't own the rights to the image on the glass. You might own the glass. You might even own the stencil. But you don't own the rights of the image. If I stand up and I'm wearing this leather jacket, someone can say, I stole their copyrights because of the way they're wearing their leather jacket. The words that are coming out my mouth, if I say, do you understand the words that are coming out my mouth? If I say that, that is copyright infringement because it was a line in a movie. What is going on? If people can look at the smallest thing and say copyright infringement, say I had a tattoo that said Oakland. By showing my head and somebody seeing a tattoo, oh, it's copyright infringement. The city of Oakland owns the name Oakland. You see what I'm saying? SOPA and PIPA will destroy personal thought because some rich person will say, hey, some rich person will say, and it will copyright, some rich person will say, and if you say that, if you say, I heard some rich person said, that is copyright infringement. You're twisting someone else's words that are copyrighted. If our individuality is no longer ours, if I make up, if I make up a word, yappy doodle squabble, yappy doodle squabble, I have to go copyright the word Yankee Doodle, Yappy Doodle Squabble. And if somebody ever uses it in any form or shape, I can sue them. Who has the money to go around buying up thoughts? And then I pointed out something. Tim Tebow, quarterback, Denver Bronco. He was the biggest NFL story this season. Tebow, Tebow, Tebow. Home Depot came out with a commercial last week. And their commercial was depot time. Depot time. Time to get your house fixed. It's depot time. Tebow, Tebow, depot. Tebow, depot. Tebow, depot. Think about it. If Tim Tebow would have had his Tebow time, you know, copywritten, they could have never came up with a their slogan for their new commercial. Makes sense? That would have been all copyright infringement. So as a regular person, walking around the streets and doing what I do and doing videos, and everything I say comes out of my mind. And if I'm thinking of something, why am I doing videos when everything I do in the video is original to me, but someone's going to say, I violated some copyright rules because some rich person bought the word rules. They bought the they, they bought curly black hair. They bought the image of curly black hair. So now I'm in the video with curly black hair. This is a copyright infringement. If there's anybody on a picture of curly black hair and this really resembles any of that in any aspect of my hair, that's copyright infringement. Five o'clock shadow, my beard. If somebody goes and takes a picture of their beard and get it copywritten, whoever's wearing a beard in the video and looks similar, that's copyright infringement. This is ridiculous. Stupid. And the people controlling us for buying up our thoughts and saying that we stole them. Thank you for your time, man. I'm glad you, you put the video out. I'm going to put your link to your video on the bottom of this one. Thank you, man, because what you said made a lot of sense. These people are complaining about copyright infringement, but they're selling the, the software. They're giving away the free software. Whenever you download it, they get paid. Whenever you click on it, they get paid. And they got the Google advertisement right on the side. It's a weird circle, man. Thank you. Thank you for your video. And I want to feature it on my page. And if you don't watch this guy's video, then you're stupid. And he's a rich person. Apparently, he's a, a wealthy man. If a rich person complains about other rich people, then you need to look into that.
a person with complains, you need to look into that. Because us people without, us without, every word that comes out of you is owned by somebody else. It's ridiculous. You have a good one? Thank you. I would say bless you, but somebody owns that one. 